influenza, and you're welcome to listen in. Now, to start, what is equine influenza? Well, it is uh, snotty noses. Uh, it is the most common upper respiratory infection of, uh, of horses in the United States today. Um, the number that, that was generated about 10 years ago in, in a uh, multi-state study was 37%. The uh, disease is present not only in the United States, but also in most of the world, uh, North America, South America, Europe, Scandinavia, Asia. Um, there are very few uh, equine flu-free countries. The uh, disease reoccurs annually uh, in the United States and these areas where it is, it, it is called enzootic. And the, uh, in the United States, there are uh, basically tiny outbreaks, a few horses in Kentucky, a few horses in California, a few horses in New York, a few horses in Florida every year. These are the cases that get reported. And the, and the same thing happens in, in most of the countries where, where equine flu is common. There are um, frequent uh, small outbreaks, but from time to time, there will be very large outbreaks. These, uh, these outbreaks can spread to hundreds or thousands of horses, not just the, uh, the half dozen horses in, in the typical outbreak in the United States. The uh, disease can be spread internationally. The uh, uh, horse is one of the more common non-human international travelers. It, it's a frequent flyer animal. The um, horses travel widely for, uh, for breeding and performance purposes. Now, what are the clinical signs of equine influenza? Fever is the most important sign. Uh, in the Fahrenheit scale, the fever in the horse can go up to 105 or 106. A uh, 103 is pretty common for equine flu. Coughing is a... a giveaway that there is a problem with your horse. If you walk into the barn and you hear uh, coughing down the stall row, then you should pay attention to what is going on uh, uh, health-wise with the horses in the stall. And nasal discharge, as, as shown in, in this slide, it's not normal for a horse to have this kind of, of thick uh, mucoperiolent nasal discharge. Now, the severity of these signs can vary from horse to horse. Every horse is not going to show all three signs. Every horse is not even necessarily going to cough that has equine influenza. A horse with some immunity, maybe it has been vaccinated in the, a year ago, or maybe it, it had uh, a case of flu earlier in its life. A horse with some immunity might not show any clinical signs but it could still uh, have contracted the disease and be uh, shedding virus that's contagious to other horses. So what is influenza? Equine influenza is, is pretty similar to human influenza. It is a, a virus, a uh, tiny little thing, a lot smaller than the image here. There are many kinds of viruses. The influenza virus is, is similar to the common cold virus or the AIDS virus, but, but they are, these are all three different kinds of viruses. Basically, a virus is a, a, a submicroscopic parasite and what we call an obligate intracellular parasite that infects susceptible animals if it comes into contact with them. And in that animal, in, in the course of reproducing itself, starting with one virus, it, it'll make millions or, or possibly billions of, 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 of daughter virus particles. During the, the course of that reproduction process, it, it typically will cause disease. So if we look at the influenza virus, influenza viruses have a, a standard name, such as you can read here. Uh, it, it looks complicated, but it's not. Influenza A, equine, South Africa, 403, is uh, basically a, a descriptive name for this virus strain. The, uh, it is a type A influenza virus. There are three types of which uh, horses only get type A. 
The equine, of course, identifies the host species. If there is no host species, it's presumed to be human. Otherwise, it will say it is equine influenza or, or, or avian influenza or swine influenza. The geographic origin, in this case, South Africa, the particular isolate, uh, which is number four in this case, and the year of isolation was 2003. Now there's also, at the end, there is what is called the virus subtype, H3N8. This is uh, in reference to the uh, two spikes that you see on the outside of, of the virus particle, the H and, and N spikes. So that's short for hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, but just remember H and N. Mm -hmm.